the ultimate seafood gumbo. Check that out, dude. Straight fire. Let's get it. That ultimate seafood gumbo starts with a good, beautiful, dark roux. One cup of that old Earl, dude. Get that in your pan. Heat it up nice and neat. We're getting that old Earl up the temperature, dude. All purpose flour. One cup. Get it in there. I don't put it all at once. Probably half a cup, dude. We're gonna make a dark, dark roux for this seafood gumbo. Start with that, get that all mixed together. That's the most important part right here, dude. Come look at that, dude. We're getting a little color on that. If you have problems doing your roux, don't be afraid to use an old whisk. That is like, you like, oh, that don't work. Dude, it's money with making a roux. I don't know, it scrapes them bottoms a little better and makes a beautiful little roux. Don't be afraid to use just a whole whisk, dude. And I like making a roux because you can get hydrated and motivated and just stir. We're about 20 minutes in on that roux. Look, the cold weather is about gone in Louisiana, dude, and we're gonna wish it off with the ultimate seafood gumbo. Look, that whisk is money when making a roux, yeah. Don't let nobody tell you no different. Oh, you're scraping the pot. Metal on metal. Don't worry about it. Look how pretty that is. Oh, oh dude. Look at the color in that. That's, that's music to my ears right there. Look at the color. We're getting that color on that roux, dude. I got some regular water, some high quality H2O. A little bit of that two-step fire. Come on back to them okras, dude. I'm gonna slice and dice them okras up. And I'll burl that, cause I get all that slime out of there. I'm gonna strain that, and I'm gonna get that slime off them okras. Cause my seafood gumbo, I like the okra in it. Now my chicken and sausage, nah, not so much okra in that, dude. Get that to a ball, dude. Slice and dice. Get them up in there. Yo, check out that room. That color is getting there, dude. But check this out. Homemade seafood stock right here. That's the key. We're going to smother that down. And right here, we got them okra. We call that de-sliming of the okra, dude. So keep cooking that down, but don't forget about your roux. You don't want to burn that, dude. And while we wait, we hide. I got that roux like I like it, that holy trinity. And that pulp, get that out of here. Listen to that sizzle, dude. Get that in there. Come look. You see them on your They soak up all that herb, that roux, that flour. Now we're gonna wilter that down before we hit it with that homemade seafood stock right here. Look, that slime's coming out on these couillons right here. Oh, yeah, dude, this is gonna be this is wishing away the cold weather in Louisiana. It's about done. Let's wish it away with the ultimate seafood gumbo. We got that roux. We got that holy trinity all smothered down. Start hitting it with that homemade seafood stock. Boom. We're going to let that cook down for a good while. You can smell that dude straight fire yuck. I hate when recipes tell you exactly how much season I want to use. I like to season, cook, and taste. Season a little bit, we'll taste it a little while. Uh oh, some of that get back. I can't wait to release this to the world right here. Worked on that a long time. I can't show you the label, but it's about to hit the market, dude, and it's fire y'all. Stir that in, dude. Like I said, season. Taste and season as you go along, dude. Ooh, seafood gumbo for the win. Let's get it in. Come check that okra, dude. You wanna see that slime? 
Look at that. That's what I'm talking about. It's like snail snot. That's what I'm getting off of that. I don't like that in my seafood gumbo. Matter of fact, let ooh, check that out, dude. We got that to the rolling ball. We're about to add that seafood to that. It's gonna be straight fire. We got that where we want that right there. Time to lay them fat female crabs to rest, dude. Drop them down in that gumbo. Yep, in the juice. Shoo. Don't forget about my boy Cajun Crawfish for all your crawfish need. Tell me live crawfish to your door. Get that in there. Look at that beautiful tail meat, dude. Drop them beautiful Cajun Crawfish tail meat in there. Give that a stir. I'm going with them beautiful Louisiana Peel d vein shrimps. Get them in there like that. Give that a stir. I know what y'all thinking, dude. I got $120 right here in seafood. It'll feed 14 people. You can't go down to the local choke and puke and feed that many people for that price. Add that beautiful lump crab meat. I couldn't find no beaky nose, so I got them scallops, dude. Add that in there. Copious, buku amount. My wife like that. Them little crab claws. Get that in there, dude. Get that a little stir. Ho, ho, ho. Let's not forget them beautiful Louisiana urchins, dude, with that golf water. Get that in there like that. Now, we're going to bring that back to the rolling ball. We're going to add that okra. We're going to get that rice done. We're going to put that on a cracker, dude. Check that out. Look at the seafood in that. So we added the seafood back in there that we made that stock with time to add that okra that we done strain. Put that up in there. You know it's not gumbo without okra, dude. Get that in there. Let's give that a lip. Ooh, we got that on low and slow. Look the copious amount of seafood in there. And I know what y'all saying. Where is the sausage? This is a seafood gumbo. This ain't a seafood and sausage gumbo. Chicken and sausage gumbo got sausage. Seafood is nothing but the seafood, dude. Hey, but you can cook how you like. Because this is going to be money, dude. I don't put no sausage in my seafood gumbo. Let that smutter down. Let's plate this beautiful gumbo, dude. You know I'm going to get a big fat female in there. Just like that. And a whole copious amount of all that other seafood in there. Just like that. You got that rice? Oh, get out of there. I'm about to sit down for an hour and pick them crabs apart. But let me tell you what. We're about to put that crawfish, that okra, scallops on a cracker, dude. This is fire. Fate bon. Lights out. That's money.